Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this video series on object oriented programming through Java lab. So I am PS Urateja. Uh, I am a research scholar in the department of CS and SC, Andhra University, India. Um, so this is a lab series and it is not uh, about Java theory. Okay, so in this series, I will be discussing about different programs which are in the lab curriculum. Right. So who is this course for? Um, so I am going to teach this uh, lab for second year BTEC students of Andhra University, uh, particularly only one section. So uh, it is not only that anybody can watch this series and they can learn. And the other thing is this course is going to strictly stick with the lab curriculum. So what I uh, mean by this is, uh, you will not be able to learn all the theory concepts which are there in Java. Okay, so I am going to demonstrate and explain only the programs which are in the lab curriculum. Right? So I mentioned here, it doesn't cover all the concepts in Java, although most of them will be covered. Right? And what are the things you already should know before learning this uh, course or lab. So you should already know some of the basics which are related to computer science and programming. Uh, basics, I mean, you should know what is a computer, you should know what is hardware, what is software, what is an algorithm, what is a flowchart, and uh, things like compiler, interpreter, and all these things. And uh, it is an added benefit if you already have any knowledge of using a programming language. Like you, if you already know C or C++, uh, then learning Java is e easy. Okay. So what is Java? So Java is a high level object oriented programming language. Okay. So you can see here, uh, high level, I think you already know. Uh, it is just like C. It is a C is also a high level language, and here it is mentioned that it follows object oriented programming. So if uh, if you are familiar with C language already, you know that C is structured programming, where uh, most of the time your program will contain some functions, and those functions will be executed to solve the problem. Whereas uh, in object oriented programming, instead of functions, you will use things like classes and objects okay so the objects communicate with each other to solve the problem so that is the main idea behind object oriented programming okay and this java is primarily developed by sun microsystems in 1995 and the person uh, who developed java is james gosling okay the person who developed java is james Gosling. Right. And why do we need to learn Java? So one reason is it is it is a popular choice among uh, the developers across the globe. And also we can see it in the TOB index. So let me take you to the TOB index. Mm. Yes. Go to Google and type TOB index. So the here you will see this link. Click on this TOB index, right? And every month, this company is going to update their index. Uh, the index contains different programming languages and their popularity. So how do they uh, calculate the popularity? Here means you can uh, see you can read these lines here later if you want. Okay, so they go through different lines of code uh, across many sites and the different search terms across search engines like Google, Bing, Yahoo, etc., and many other places. They gather all this data and then they decide the popularity of a programming language. So if you come down, this is the index. So this is right now in August 2023, and this is in the same time period last year, 2022. Okay, and here you can see the programming languages and their ranks here. So rank one is Python, rank two is C, rank three is C++, and fourth is Java. 
so you can say java is one of the popular languages right okay so let's go back to this powerpoint right so now coming into the lab curriculum so first program is uh, a program to demonstrate the structure of a basic java program so in this program we are going to discuss things like uh, what are the basic things you will see in, a, in every java program okay and then the second program is demonstrating the basic elements of the java language which are data types variables operators arrays and control structures every programming language will have all these things but only the syntax will change a little bit and next one is program to demonstrate constructors okay so in java we have something called constructors we will see about that in this program and fourth program is to demonstrate the concept of method overloading so i would like to say method means just like a function in c okay nothing new so people who already know c or c++ we say the functions so those things are called as methods in java and then next one is to program to demonstrate inheritance as well as method overriding okay and next program is demonstrate packages so you can think of a package as a collection of classes okay so don't worry i will talk about what is a class object and all these things later and next program is to demonstrate the feature of Uh, the feature called exception handling okay so people who are already familiar with c they know that uh, you can't handle runtime errors for example divide by 0 so whenever a divide by 0 happens in c program the program will simply stop so you can prevent that in java by using this concept of exception handling okay and next one is a program to demonstrate the concept of multi threading so basically a thread is like a part of a single program mm, you can divide a program into different parts and each part can be called as a thread so what is the benefit of this threading is you can run threads parallelly okay our next program is to demonstrate io operation so here we will see how to store data into a file and retrieve data from a file and next one is program to demonstrate network programming so this is kind of interesting so what we will do in this program is so it's basically chat application where you will run the chat application uh, i mean there will be two parts of the program one is client and another one is server so one java program will be run on one machine and another program will be run on another machine and the both the programs will talk with each other okay we will see and next program is to demonstrate the concept of applets and event handling so i would like to say one thing this concept of applets is completely removed in the latest version of java so anyhow since it is in the curriculum we will discuss about this and last program is uh, for demonstrating layout managers so this is basically about arranging different components in the gui we will see so these last two programs applets event handling and layout managers these two uh, i mean these concepts are useful for creating guis okay graphical user interfaces where you can see things like buttons text boxes labels and all these things okay so the java version we are going to use in our lab is either java 17 or java 18 right so that's it for this session so basically this is the introduction to your java lab that is object oriented programming through java so i hope you understood so let's meet again thank you